So, it's been forever since I recorded a video of the 4100 ES or provided you guys with any updates. Um, admittedly, I've been pretty lazy and haven't been feeling um, the motivation to like upload videos and stuff. But, I finally f uh, felt like, why not upload a video? So, today's the day. Um, anyways, um, let me open up the panel. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure if you could tell, but it's not on the home system no more. Um, I decided to remove it off the home system because I was pretty limited on what I could do with the panel. Um, I could really only do a basic setup with the home system. Meanwhile, on a demo board, I could have more customi customizability and flexibility on what I could do since it's like uh, a demo system and I could do whatever I want. Um, so yeah, I do plan on building a demo system on this side of the board for the 4100ES. I still have the 4007 um, right here. It still works, surprisingly. I know 4007s are known to die, um, but yeah, it still works. Um, I don't know when I'll upload a video on it, but yeah, there's the 4007 if you wanted to see it. As for updates on the main panel itself, we now have ID NAC. So yeah, um, IDNAC was not cheap um, or easy to get, but we finally got it. I'm not sure if you can see it pulling. Let's see, can we see it pulling? Yeah, it just pulled right now. But yeah, we just have IDNAC right now. That's pretty cool. Um, I'll show you the inside of the panel to show you how that works. If I can open it with one hand, I don't know if I can. Um, maybe we can, hold on. And open up the second bay where our um, ID NAC stuff is. So, we no longer have an XPS. So, if you're a Simplex nerd, you know that the XPS powers your second bay for your amplifier. Um, but you can also use an ESPS and my XPS died. So I'm like, oh, let's just get an ESPS and eventually get an IDNAC card. So the IDNAC card is this card right here. And it's mounted on top of the ESPS. Oh, yeah, that, that's horrible. You can't really, yeah, you can't see like that. Um, but yeah, this, um, the ESPS has um, two of these built into it. And the uh, um, IDNAC card plugs right into it. Um, so yeah, that's how that works. You cannot um, use the IDNAC card on its own. It will not work in like one of these slots. I have not tried it, but I'm not going to try it because I already know in the manual it says it's incompatible like that. So I don't want to mess anything up. Um, but yeah, this one right here is your ESPS. This powers your amplifier or whatever bay it's in. Um, also ignore this trouble right here. I do not have a resistor in NAC1. The reason why it's normal is because it's on a ID NAC loop, and on ID NAC loops, you do not need resistors because um somehow it knows if there's a device missing. I'm not sure how it knows like if the audio channel is unplugged, but it does know. Um, let's see what else. Um, three ID NAC loops. Uh, the amplifier, the audio controller card. My um, first base still the same. I still have an SPS. Because I do not plan on upgrading this to RUI Plus and getting another ESPS. Nah, that will be too much work. Um, but yeah. Um, I'll put the dress panel back on and then we'll do a um, quick test. Okay, so I have the dress panel back on. I guess we could start off by doing like an all call, like a page, because why not? Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of interference. Let's see if I can still do it. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Test. Yeah, too much interference right here um, because of how close it is to the mic. Oh well. I could lower the wattage, but I don't feel like it. So let's just do um, this one by, by Nick's Mad Science. 
We are now testing the fire alarm system. Please disregard all signals and instructions until further notice. We are now testing the fire alarm system. Please disregard all signals and instructions until further notice. We are now testing the fire alarm system. Please disregard all signals and instructions until further notice. And yeah, it turns off. So um, let's see. So I'll do the pool station and then yeah. And then we'll do the other messages. So three, two. Also, I do not remember what message I programmed onto here. So it's going to be a surprise just like you guys. So three, two, one. There is a fire emergency in the building. You are to leave the building by the nearest exit or exit stairway. Do not use the elevators. There is a fire emergency in the building. You are to leave the building by the nearest exit or exit stairway. Do not use the elevators. And we do have selective silence, so the strobes continue to flash. I know that's not up to code, but once again, this is my system, so I could do whatever I want with it. Um, and that's all through this pair of wires. This one's for our audio going to our amplifier. This one's for our um, strobes, or well, our strobes and horn strobes, or whatever ID NAC device you have. Well, technically, um, true NAC devices do work these pre id NAC devices. I know these look like normal true alerts, but they are not. They have an addressable LED in there. I'll put that up one day, but let's do a system reset. Oh, my apologies. I forgot to reset the pool station. Hopefully we do it before it aborts. Let's see, and reset it. So let's do an all call and do testing completed. We are now finished testing the fire alarm system. Please obey all signals and instructions from this point forward. We are now finished testing the fire alarm system. Please obey all signals and instructions from this point forward. We are now finished testing the fire alarm system. Please obey all signals and instructions from this point forward. Uh, let's do um, all clear now, just because. Attention. Your attention, please. The building emergency condition has been cleared. You may return to your normal work activities. The building emergency condition has been cleared. You may return to your normal work activities. Attention. And it does that three your times. Your attention, please. Uh, yeah, um, let's see. I guess we could do the news receiver. I'm not going to go through all these messages, just, just the ones I like. Your attention, please. May I have your attention, please? Please stand by for a message from the emergency receiver in the building. The following message was received by the emergency radio receiver. Okay. And to end it, I'll show you um, the self-test feature. Uh, access levels. You go to service. Walk. No, not what. My bad. Um. I never, I don't do this often, so um, I'm actually looking for it. Hold on. 
I'm pretty sure it's under knack test. Nope, my bad. True alert test. How did I how did I not see this? I do not know. Um true alert self test. Run self test. Signal 909. I'm pretty sure that's what I have it under. Or well the speaker strobe. I have both of these on separate lists. Um We'll do a manual self test because that's pretty fun. Oh, I'm not sure if it was focused, my bad. Volume normal, status on, and we're gonna have trouble. We could acknowledge that. And we have a magnet right here. You test it right here and I'll show you what it does. Yeah, that's all it does. It does like a horn sound and then test is the strobe. And then to get it out of self test, you go on menu diagnostics. Uh, where is it? True alert test. True alert, yes, self test. We're in self test. Turn it off. Accepted. And then you go to, um, you go to view test results, view last results, and it says pass, um, signal 909, one pass because that was the only one on the loop. So, that was a quick short video on it. I didn't really have anything that interesting, but I hope you guys found it interesting. But other than that, I don't really have anything to show you. So yeah, bye guys.